time for my monthly favorites. These are the best makeup products that I've tried. This month is for July slash August since I skipped a favorites month. That was because I literally was traveling all of July. So the makeup that I was wearing was very far and few between. Nothing new, nothing exciting, very minimal. So most of these are favorites that I discovered in August. However, there's a couple that I just wore all the time during travel that I'm going to be talking about today. We're going to first get started with like skincare, body care. Sometimes I completely skip that section, but I do have quite a few compared to normal. Three <laughs> is my quite a few. But first is this moisturizer. I am so picky when it comes to moisturizers because my skin gets horrific breakouts if it does not like the moisturizer that I'm using. So I recently used a moisturizer that just caused me these horrible like boiling acne. It was bad. It was not good. It was uncomfortable. They were hot to the touch. So I switched over very quickly to uh, the Refer Hydration Cream. And this is kind of my go-to because it's intensely hydrating without feeling really thick or oily on the skin. It does not cause my skin to break out, but leaves my skin feeling soothed and hydrated. So I definitely recommend this for sensitive skin. It's essential oil free and it's fragrant free. And as somebody who has very sensitive skin, in. This will soothe it when it's irritating. The consistency of it is so nice and creamy, but not too creamy, but it has an intense hydration as well without being too much for the skin. I know Ruffer is not known for their skincare, but I do love this moisturizer. I think it's fantastic. It's definitely a safe bet for me when it comes to my skin type. And then also I have a new makeup remover oil cleanser that I've been enjoying. Another random brand. I randomly opened this up and I've loved it. So this is from Benefit and it's the Porefessional Get Unblocked Pore Clearing Makeup removing cleansing oil. So there's this thing called a double cleanse that's very popular and I stand by it because I think it's important to not just wash your face if you've worn makeup. It's good to go in with an oil or something before your regular cleanser because that's going to ensure you get off all of the makeup before you go to sleep. Again, my sensitive skin, you will not catch me dead going to sleep with my makeup on. It never ever have ever happens. And I also ensure that there's no leftover makeup even if I wash my face because I use an oil cleanser most of the time. So this one I really like because you squirt it onto your hands and then you start to rub when you have your makeup on. Start at the eyes because otherwise it won't get your eye makeup off the best. So I will say, it's probably not the best oil cleanser on the market because I don't think it completely melts the makeup away. But if you focus a little bit on the eyes first, you'll be fine. And then you, it needs to emulsify so you wet your hands and that will kind of help it get almost like soapy and it will get all of your makeup off. I like this because of the fact that it's in a pump. So I do like my makeup removing cleansing balms. However, I hate having to dig my hand in and do it. I like that this just, it's a quick, and it doesn't leave my hands feeling residue or anything. And then I go in with my cleanser, which I'm using a pharmacy cleanser right now. So this one is really great. And you don't necessarily need to get this one, but I do recommend doing a double cleanse and starting off with a oil makeup remover. This is fantastic. So I really like this one from Benefit though. I do recommend it, but there probably are better. I haven't used a ton in my time to tell you which one's the best in the market, but this one I'm really happy with. And then the last product that I have, it's a body care product. And this one is going to be a good one to pick up <laughs> more so during the Sephora sale because you guys know Caudalie is not a cheap brand, but this is so nice. This is a Smooth and Glow Oil Elixir. You can use it for body and hair if you need a little bit of oil for your hair. I actually haven't tried it in the hair. I've been using it for the body, and I'm picky with body oils. I don't like feeling sticky all day, and I feel like this one is nice because it soaks in, but it still leaves a really hydrated feel. I'm not saying you can't feel it at all, but it leaves the skin looking so nice and hydrated with a subtle glow, which I think is really nice on the legs, especially in the summertime. So it's a lighter weight oil. It definitely gives a little bit of a glow to the skin and it's intensely hydrating. So I really like it. It's a luxury price point. In my opinion, it works as good as a luxury product. Probably wouldn't recommend that you pay full price for it, but it's a beautiful 
product and I just I love the bottle of it as well it's been really really nice on my arms and on my legs and on my chest I've really enjoyed this okay on to the makeups now so here's the thing that's leaving me a little stressed so all of July I tried nothing because I was out of town and then the first like two weeks of August I was like trying some things to catch up but in these last two weeks of August the launches have been crazy I've been sprinkled down with so much launches to the point where I haven't had enough time to fully test those products so I know there's a number of new products that might show up in next month's favorites as I continue to test them more and we'll see what I end up using through all of this but one new product that I fell in love with right away is the new Glossier foundation. This is everything that I've been looking for from Glossier. They call it the Stretch Fluid Foundation. It pairs really well with their Stretch Fluid Concealer. And I know Glossier is known for that no makeup makeup natural look. So their previous foundation style product had no coverage and I just didn't like it. I just felt like I was putting an extra layer of product over my skin that did nothing but made me look a little bit like greasy. So this one actually has some coverage but it still gives that very skin-like finish to still give you that Glossier fresh dewy skin look with out having that so the first product that they had the the one in the squeezy tube it did give that no makeup makeup look because it didn't make it look like you were wearing any makeup but for those of us who have discoloration acne breakouts it wasn't a very nice look <laughs> this one actually evens the skin tone out and i say it gives a dewy look not necessarily dewy it has more of a natural finish but the, it looks even more natural the longer you wear it as your oils come through the finish is so skin like and healthy looking it's a great everyday foundation if you need a little bit of coverage i did a whole review on this if you want to check it out it's a great product this one is an earlier product I tried this I think mid-July, maybe a little later than that, but it's very nice. I know summer is coming to an end, but this really was a great staple product to have for the summer, maybe next summer. This is the Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint. This is so beautiful. Now, it doesn't provide a ton of coverage. You'll see with it compared to the Glossier, it has almost no coverage, but it gives you that a tint, a tint that I am happy with that just makes the skin look healthier it gives a nice dewy glow and it actually wears pretty well sometimes with skin tints you can look like an oily greasy mess at the end of the day i don't feel like this with this product i just look hydrated all day and a little bit more even and it feels lightweight on the skin which makes it perfect for the summer you know if you want to go out to dinner and look nice but you know if you're going for a walk after i am projecting right now but if you're going for a walk after and it's a bit hot you don't want your makeup to feel too heavy in the heat this was perfect for that so i love this I will say like Hourglass in general, they do really good natural foundations because they also had a tinted moisturizer that was one of my all-time favorites. And then this new skin tint is also incredible, which side note, speaking of Hourglass, this morning, the new ambient lighting palettes temporarily launched. It was an accident because the website, you can tell, it was just a little off, you know, not everything was available. And then there's just some things I know about the palettes that weren't on the website so I just knew it was a little bit off but kudos to you if you picked it up I'm really excited they're gonna be launching very very soon next up concealer holy moly so many concealers have launched I'm currently waiting for the Gucci concealer to come in the mail my favorite concealer has been the tower 28 what do they call this serum concealer because it applies exactly as it sounds like a serum there's nothing that blends easier into the skin it gives a lighter medium coverage which is more than i expected and the finish is so beautiful it's gorgeous literally as a foundation definitely check out my review on this and you will see it just soaked in like butter into the skin but still gave me coverage my skin looks so healthy now it's not the most long wearing concealer so if you're gonna be out and about all day and you know you're you need your makeup to just stay put i wouldn't recommend this for that but for every day it's my favorite concealer that has launched recently it gave me that it factor with the first initial application i keep pushing back my concealer ranking because <laughs> new concealers keep coming out like the makeup by mario was also really nice the house labs was really nice but those i feel like while they are nice 
they aren't standing out amongst my very top shelf concealers. This one, I would say, is joining the top shelf. I love this concealer so much. And if you like that kind of dewier, hydrating, but still has a little bit of coverage look, you will enjoy this. And it's great as even like a quick tinted moisturizer. It's beautiful. This one is a vacation favorite because I don't have many. Like I said, I was pretty minimal with the makeup I wore on vacation, but there was a couple products that I would reach for every time I was doing my makeup because I wanted it to look better, but I wanted it to feel really lightweight and natural because, you know, we're probably out walking hot, but I also wanted it to be quick to apply because I'm not paying to go on vacation to spend an hour and a half getting ready, right? So I loved using this Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour. I think it's the perfect shade. It leaves the perfect amount of pigment on the cheek and it really does contour the face. It's nice, you don't need to set it with bronzer. It lasts a long time. I like this better than the Charlotte Tilbury. So this is not a new launch, but I just found it really convenient to reach for this summer and I felt like every time I used it, I also looked pretty snatched with minimal effort. So this is a fantastic product from Tarte. I know they have the blush and the highlight, which I do have. I did do a Tarte haul this month, but I haven't gotten to use those products again, really. I need some more time to test them with all of the new launches that have come out, but I do love this. I use it a ton. Another vacation product that I loved. Again, it needs to be quick, convenient, and feel lightweight. And I really felt that way about this Palladio I'm Blushing Cheek and Lip Tint. Which, by the way, Palladio, great affordable brand. They definitely have some underrated products. And this blush is one of them. I like it because it's a really creamy blush stick. But it doesn't look too glowy on the cheek, which I think helps with longevity. And it, it blends itself out, okay? So whenever I was doing my makeup... It works really great just on bare skin when you don't need anything. It works really great over today where I had a little bit more makeup on. I already had powder on. It didn't disrupt anything underneath. It's very versatile. It's very malleable. It lasts a long time. It lasts even longer if you set it with a little bit of a powder blush over top. It's so versatile. It looks pretty good on the lips. Not amazing, but it will work that way in a pinch. I have the shade Sweetheart. I would love to get more shades of this because I do think that this formula is so so nice i've enjoyed this blush stick i love a good little chubby blush stick you know okay and then this one is shocking but Too faced came out with a banger like they killed it with this formula this is not very Too Facey to me it's so luxe so this is from Too faced and it's the moon crush out of this world highlighter it's from a corny little collection that they launched in july which i did review it there was also an eyeshadow palette but there's something about this highlighter that is like a luxury highlighter this could be more expensive and it would still be worth it it just blends into the skin so seamlessly it has a buttery hydrating feel to it which i think helps with not emphasizing texture i have it in the shade shooting star seriously if you go into sephora like just touch it it feels so nice and smooth and i this collection you know it hit me as something that would launch it would be cute and then it would go on sale for 50 percent off and you'd never hear about it again this highlighter quality wise has longevity to me i will remember this collection because this highlighter was so randomly awesome love this if it does go on 50 percent off Girl, you better run. So next up for eyes. I don't have much for eyes and lips. I mean, you guys know the last recent months, it's been all about complexion on the market, except for like the last five days where like 10 eyeshadow palettes have launched, which I've been loving doing the eyeshadow palettes reviews. But with so many eyeshadows having launched in such a concentrated period of time i've only got to use those eyeshadow palettes like once <laughs> so this month's eyeshadow palette ranking is going to be delayed because honestly i just need more time to thoroughly test those palettes but i already know we already know what's number one natasha denona i need a nude palette i've done numerous looks with it at this point i really need to put it aside and use some of those other eyeshadow palettes but 
I've been loving it. I would say in my initial review, I didn't quite love those looks that I did because I just used too many eyeshadows. This one is quite a monochromatic palette and I feel like this palette stands out with simple looks, which just makes it easier on you guys. So in my head, a nude palette. The exact look I'm wearing is the exact look that came to mind when I heard the name of this palette. So for today's look, I used the shade Mesh as my crease color. It's just a cooler tone, a couple shades deeper than my skin tone, barely noticeable. And then I used the shade Muse on my finger and I applied it and it kind of gives, I hate to compare it to something so cheap, but it kind of gives like a Too Faced Super Shock shadow look on the eyelid. It's so beautiful. It's really honestly not going to pull on camera how beautiful it is, which is a shame because in person, it's like very fine glitters, quite luxurious, but still very fun. And this is just the perfect nude look. And then I finished off with Silhouette right here on my lash line as my eyeliner. It's a beautiful palette, you know, it's it doesn't have as much variety to it, I think, as I would have liked. But I'm enjoying this for every day. It is a stunning palette and I think it's great for simple everyday quick looks that will still be able to give you a little bit of pizzazz if you put the shimmers on the lid. Love the look I'm wearing today. I've honestly loved the looks that I've created off camera. I think they've been so beautiful so thank you Natasha for coming up with this palette and of course it's very high quality. This is going to be one of the palettes of the holiday season, I'm telling you. And then the last product for the eyes is from Milani. These are the Gilded Eyeshadow Sticks. So I finally found an eyeshadow stick from the drugstore that I love. They sent a few more colors, but these are the four that I was rotating on through vacation. So that's where I loved these because I just threw them in my makeup bag, threw them on the airplane, and didn't have to worry about them, you know, breaking or anything like that. These have a very creamy application and they set down. They have some shades which are prettier than others, I would say. A couple of the shades remind me a lot of the Hourglass eyeshadow sticks, which I liked, but they were definitely overpriced because I felt like they were a little sheer. And there's definitely a couple shades in this line which I feel like are a little bit sheer, but then they also have a couple shades that are like really gorgeous. Like If you are gonna get one shade of these, I recommend the shade sterling because it has a little bit of extra glitter to it so when we were in vegas my um in-laws they had a little wedding um a, a vow renewal and i wore this all over my lid and it looked so pretty and it didn't crease it lasted all day i mean these are quite the high quality eyeshadow sticks and i'm just so proud of myself for discovering such an affordable eyeshadow stick. And eyeshadow sticks are in, you guys. Fenty Beauty just launched some, which I actually have. I need to try those. And I've just gotten various brands like Maybelline, Palladio, send these to me in the mail. I think Milani so far has been my favorite, but I definitely need to test them some more because it's been a constant battle with me wanting to test out eyeshadow palettes or test out eyeshadow sticks. But for vacation, these are wonderful. Like, these are products I've actually used in the wild. <laughs> Not worrying about reviewing them or testing them. I just wore these in everyday life when I wasn't working and I loved these. The final product that I have is a lip liner from Palladio. This is the shade Nearly Nude. Emphasis on the shade here. This is what's really special. It's the perfect everyday pink. It's the perfect bridal pink lip liner. If I were still doing brides, so many of my brides would have loved this lip. It looks like my lips, but better, but pinkier. It's going to go with any makeup look. Put a little bit of gloss on top. Like today on top, this isn't my in my favorites technically, but it's actually really nice. This is the Palladio lip oil in the shade Fly. What a good look. And if you have similar coloring to me, this is also the perfect fake lip filler kind of look. It just makes your lips look bigger. It's the perfect, perfect, perfect pink. So this color is everything. I've used it so much for every day.
And there we have it, you guys. Those are some of my favorite beauty products for the last couple of months. I'm sure there's more, but these ones definitely stood out to me. I use them a ton. They are all so gorgeous, and I recommend them. I will have them linked down below for you guys if you're interested. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be doing a short version of the least favorite products that I've tried in the last couple months. It's limited, but there are some stuff that I'm looking at on my table now that I'm like... Don't buy these. <laughs> okay, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.